Chris, just start off by telling us about Sapphire and what you're displaying here at PTE. Okay, so we've got a number of solutions which have been developed over the past 12 months, uh, including low control automation, which means it's uh, basically taking low weight and balance and putting it into a tablet. We've got our baggage system, which is a number of improvements, and we've also have tracking, we've had um, our precision timing tool which is measuring service levels at airports and capturing information from different sources and our flight displays, so our flight displays is new, gone live in London City and it's actually using quite new technology which is system on chip so it doesn't need the traditional PC at the back of those machines. Let's break some of that down then and, and go back a bit so you, you said about looking at new developments over the last 12 months, looking for improvements yeah. what are we talking about in terms of improvements what do you mean? Okay so basically if we take our low control for example, um, it was a app which was uh, cons considered by Qantas in Australia. Um, what we're trying to do is centralise low control in the world. So uh, we have low controllers who actually use a weight and balance system. And what they can then do is feed the information automatically to a tablet device. And when we use that tablet device, it's actually stops people phoning in, making mistakes, allows a change that happens on the weight and balance system to be affected straight on the tablet. So first load is basically mobilization of weight, uh, the weight balance system. If I just click on a flight, um, what you have here is, let me just get the, we actually confirm the registration of the aircraft just so that um, they are working on the correct plane. So if I submit that, what we get here is, this is a traditional load plan. So if I click on a GLR, what you see here is the traditional piece of paper people used to walk around an aircraft and actually say, oh, I've got this container to go here, and this container to go here, and this container to there, and these are the, uh, the voids in the aircraft. So this is the, the, the old tradition view. So what we've done is taken that and created the aft section. So basically, that same picture is now automated. So this is a graphical representation of the, the belly of an aircraft. Right? What we do then, click on that, confirm the numbers, it's 25. Yep, agreed and now it's ramp cleared. So that's gone back up onto the weight balance system, waiting for a response to come back. It goes green. Yes, all good. So that now, where traditionally someone had called to said, I've now cleared 41L, is now a completely automated process. What does that mean? It means that central load control, don't need to take the calls, don't need to uh, create messages. If I want to click on that one, what I can also do is uh, send a message. So send a message, a traditional type of message. The URD is unserviceable and actually, it's not just the message where things were voiced before, it's a history that you've actually told someone that, that URD is unserviceable. So all the, and that again is fed straight back to the system so people have got a full inventory of all the events that happened on the aircraft. And for Zafir, I guess that's a demonstration of where there's a lot of information there. Yeah. It's in the system somewhere, but it's linking it and getting people to have that information at their fingertips. Absolutely, so we, as, a, as a company, uh, we're kind of integration specialists, so we actually go into different systems, pull the information we need, pull it together, and then try to project that into a really easy understand you know, screen, which actually makes a lot of sense to people. So like that load planning, for example, it's pulling information from First Bank, it's pulling information from the AODB, it's pulling information from the FIDs, and of course, pulling information from the weight balance systems. So it's it actually, from a load planning point of view, or a person using it, it's got all these different information, and now it's on one screen. So we have the colour coding things for fl flights, for example, which they're used to, fuel usage, it's all on one screen for them. You mentioned about product launches here at PTE. Why is this an important show for Zephyr? Well, I think it's the, the depth of people who come here. We've got airlines, ground handlers, we've got airport authorities, we've got people doing consultancy work. And actually, what we're getting here is a really broad spectrum of different people coming to the organisation. So we've been absolutely, first two days we've been non-stop. My feet are killing me. So we've actually been working really hard just to really look, look, show our new products, you know, um, with our product itself, it's the first time we've actually got now designers involved, where before it was very much an operational system, now we're looking at the aesthetics, usability of our systems, and we're doing many improvements now, on nice clean designs, white backgrounds, big buttons, different colours, and it's looking really, really good for us.